Oh no, I got banned. Oh no, I'm a cheater. Oh. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm sorry. If I clickbaited you, I do apologize. It's April Fool's and I'm just messing around. Truly, I am. No one's ever getting banned, especially on this channel. <laughs> and it's funny that I'm sure half of you probably believed the thumbnail and the title, which is funny because a lot of you also believed it the first time that thumbnail was used, which is a different story, but hey, it's April Fools. Why don't we uh, crack open a couple of Easter eggs? You know, let's let some drama pour out and let's uh, unturn you know a few rocks and show some skeletons within this community, shall we? Because I'm going in. What's going on, YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division Two video. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. And finally, please shout out where you're from. It's always cool to see where everyone's from. Now, I do apologize yet again. I know that that thumbnail and the title is pretty damning, but it's April Fool's. It's all jokes and gimmicks. And let's be real. If you actually knew me, you would know that it's all BS anyways, because you, you know exactly what I promote here. We're just helping out the community and expanding everyone's knowledge within the Division universe. So, why was that thumbnail ever used against me? It's pretty funny, right? That, that thumbnail was used against me from a different content creator about a year ago because of the Floor 10 in Anderson XP Farms, right? And then somehow I was a cheater and then they wanted to make a thumbnail and try to blast me and whatever. <laughs> we, we see how that worked, right? I mean, let's be real. They just bought 20,000 subs and we're about to hit a new milestone. Bye-bye. Let's get it. Um, but, regardless, it's April Fool's, so I just wanted to play a little joke, that's it. So let's talk about the community, how is everyone doing now that it is April, how's the Division Universe doing, and whatnot. Because, let's be real, it is April, and we haven't gotten word about anything from the Division Universe. Now, obviously, we are going to get Division Day. Now, this was set up and established last year on April 20th. So we are going to get big news coming within the next week or so, and we are getting a Division Day in the very near future. So maybe that's why everything's quiet. But while I just uh, comb the open world, let's talk about the community, let's talk about the universe, let's talk about the future and everything in between. Because let's be real, it's Monday, and this is basically a news update video. I, I mean, yeah, we, we did throw a little uh, April Fools in there, but that, that's about it. This is just basically a news update video. So first up, where is Division Heartland? I mean, that's a pretty valid question, right? Well, the developers didn't say shit until like, what, December? So just to give you a little refresher on the Division Heartland, last June, they did a open beta test last June. And everyone participated, got in, tested it out. Everything looked good. Everything felt good. Everyone was talking about it, how it was whatever, so good. And they were quiet, right? From June to December, they were quiet. Now, meanwhile, we did get Division 3 news in between there. And we did get news about Julian Garrity jumping on, Morton Ryberg jumping out, and a whole bunch of pieces being changed within the Division universe. And all for the better. I mean, let's be real. Everything Division-related has been doing a bit better, whether it be the big Project Resolve, the transparency, the updates, what have you. Now, I will admit that we still have our freaking bugs, man. And we will. This is a live service game, so I do not expect anything less than more bugs. Because once you start poking around in code and opening up one doorway and shutting it, you're probably going to open up a few more doorways in the process. And that's well, what these updates keep doing is it's closing the door on some bugs, but then it's opening up the door to op other bugs. Now, Heartland. I believe we'll get news in Division Day. I don't think it's going to be news that we want, 
I highly doubt it, but maybe, fingers crossed, maybe we get some sort of test or something for Division Heartland. But again, I highly doubt it. Now, let's talk about Division Resurgence. Division Resurgence, um, I believe, just ended their um, live test for China. This was a three-day test, and it was basically just to open up the servers on that region and see how um, the servers act with that many people. Because remember, the Chinese gaming industry is the biggest gaming industry in the world because they have the most consumers. So opening that up for Division Resurgence is huge, and I think it's going to be a really big thing for the game once it does go live. But as far as we know, that test went smooth for China, and it's looking like everything is set up for a launch for Division Resurgence. Now, that is more uh, likely than Heartland. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, Division Day is coming up, like I keep saying, and it's going to be in a couple weeks. And when that happens, I do believe, I actually do, I do believe that the Division Resurgence is going to get a release date for, from Division Day. It, it They can't hold it back any further. I have said it numerous times on this channel. I have played the Division Resurgence. I have beaten it twice. I played it on both of their uh, closed beta tests for both of their regional testing, and I beat the game start to finish during both regional beta testing. And it was a lot of fun. Highly recommended. I think the Division Resurgence is gonna be a great addition to this universe, and I think it's gonna get a lot of people hooked on this franchise. But with that being said, that's just Resurgence. Now, yes, that is a mobile game. You can play it on, I mean, basically anywhere on any device. I myself was playing it on my TV with my PlayStation controller with no issues. Now, with it being a mobile game, there is obviously that stigma that everyone and their mom has about mobile games being, you know, lackluster and, you know, just a, a twinkle in the shadow of a normal AAA game, but I do promise you that the Division Resurgence is worth it. I, I do. The Division Resurgence is a good Division game, and a lot of us are going to really enjoy that once it, you know, finally comes out. Now, Heartland, nah, I don't, I mean, maybe, but they have been so hush-hush that it just doesn't seem like anything's really happening. Now, what do I mean by hush-hush? Well, this time last year, they were doing playtesting for Heartland every single month. It wasn't like, a, oh yeah, we'll do it in a few months. It was every month they were doing playtesting. And then after that June open testing, it kind of went away. And then this year, forget about it. No one's heard anything about Heartland this year. And it, we're already four months into the year, and no one's heard a peep. So either the game is fully finished and ready to ship, or they are going back to square one and completely reworking that magic. So we'll see which one it is. Now let's talk about this game, all right? So we have the Division Resurgence coming. We do have Heartland coming, I, I believe. Now let's talk about this game. Well, they pushed the DLC to next year. We know that. We also know that... Um, what, at the end of this season, we were supposed to get the DLC? Now, that means we're going to get an additional three seasons after this one before we get the DLC. So that's about a year. So about this time next year, we should be getting the DLC, which would, in turn, mean that we would probably have some sort of big release announcement next year for the Division Day for that DLC. And, fingers crossed, maybe next year for Division Day, we'll get a Division 3, you know, uh, reveal. Um, but as far as the Division 2, where are we going? Everything is pretty much in a stalemate. I mean, let's look at the season. So the new Manhunt starts tonight, well, tomorrow, 
So we'll be doing that. I'll probably live stream it. And then we have another league, but then that's it. All right? Oh, no. We have one more. Woo! Woo! We do have one more. So in the next, let's see, 11 weeks. So in the next 11 weeks, we have two manhunts, two league events, one apparel event, and then the rest are all global events. So we have Golden Bullet, SHD Exposed, Reanimated, Hollywood, Guardians. So we will have five more global events, two leagues, and two manhunts with a little apparel event in between. Now, do note that this last resort apparel event is a rerun. It's an old apparel event. So let me see. If you go to apparel, go to stores, go to outfits, and go to... Oh, right there. It's at the very top, last resort. So it's going to be all of these outfits for that apparel event. So, um, yeah. Not not really much going on on our radar for the Division 2. And this is where things start to get a little messy because with all of, you know, the lack of information, it begins to spawn a whole bunch of uh, fear-mongering and, you know, rumors. You know, the Division's dead, and this is dead, and they're freaking out, and blah, blah, blah. So all I would like to do today is just say thank you for sticking with the community. Thank you for sticking with me. And, well, there's a lot of good things happening on the horizon. We do have multiple games for this franchise coming out. And it's seeming the more time we give them, the more polished it will be. And remember, I mean, even with the Division 1 and the Division 2, the quality of these games are so high. And I think that's why a majority of us either stick with this franchise or come back to this franchise. Because it's so unique and polished in a way that other gaming franchises can't touch. And, well, you know me. I'm not going anywhere. So, let's uh, let's talk about the community. Because whenever times like these happen, the community tends to eat itself alive. And I don't think we need that. I think we need to band together. Work together. Build the community. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan different live stream events. So I'll do incursions and raid live stream events. Now, what do I mean by that? That means that either on Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, I will do a dedicated live stream to either help people with raids or help people with incursions. So here's how that's going to work because we're going to start that either this coming week or next week. How that's going to work is you're probably going to need to be on my Discord because uh, that's where I get a lot of these requests to do incursions and raids is on Discord. So joining my Discord might be your best bet. So jump over to my Discord. If you go to my YouTube channel, go to the About Me, just click the Discord link. And in that Discord server, what I'm going to do is I'm going to establish a voice chat or I'm going to establish a text chat channel and we're going to get people in. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, I will probably give you a few days heads up. I'm not going to be able to give you like a week's heads up or like a month heads up, anything like that. I'm busy. We run businesses out of the house. We have kids, all that crap. And I run this channel. I got a lot of things going on. I'm kind of busy. Not to mention I play this on all platforms and I run three different clans at the same time. So your boy's busy. So what I'm going to do is whenever I have, like, say, a day where I can stack videos or something like that, I'll then be able to plan out a live stream. Meaning I could post a video, live stream that entire day, and then post a video at night. So uh, something like that. Now, if I can get into a position where I can, you know, make a few videos and stack them, I'll be able to do these live streams, you know, like back to back. That way, I don't end a stream to go make a video and then make a stream and then go make a video. I, I could stack up on these videos and then we can just focus on getting as many people through as possible. Now, I know a lot of you are DMing me on PlayStation, Xbox, and also PC. And a lot of you need the Ouroboros and EB. 
So those are going to be the two exotics that I will really try to help you get in these live streams. So, long story short, happy April Fools. Sorry if I messed with you with that thumbnail and title. I, I do. It, it was kind of just a joke. That's all. Because some people actually think I'm a cheater or something, and it's hilarious. And then other people just like to talk crap behind my back. So I, I like to make fun of them. Because real recognizes real. And <laughs> when you get to a position I'm in, you could really, really spot out the fakes. And you would be really surprised on who's uh, faking their stuff. But that's a discussion for another video. So that's why I did the title and the thumbnail the way I did. I do apologize again. It is April Fool's. Just having fun. As far as the uh, news update... Resurgence is dotting its T's and crossing, you know, its I's. You see what I did there? I flipped it. Anyways, Resurgence has everything it's, it needs to have a full release. The Division Resurgence is coming, and it's going to be big. Remember that Apple uh, introduced the Division Resurgence during their Apple, like, celebration last year? This, this is going to be a big thing for mobile gaming, and the Division Resurgence is the flagship for that. As far as the Division Heartland, eh, not so much, um, you know, excitement as the Division Resurgence, which is very weird. I, I would much rather be excited for Heartland than Resurgence, but here we are. And it's basically because their community managers aren't managing the community. There is no Division Heartland page. There's no Division Heartland anything. I mean, they do have their Discord, but their Discord is quiet. I mean, there's crickets for months. So the Division Heartland, it's kind of hard to get excited for when they're holding their cards so close to their chest. So I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Now, as far as the Division 2, the Division 2 is in a good spot, but we are in like this like weird limbo area. They extended these seasons... So we, we have a lot of downtime for these seasons. And that's why I was bringing up like incursion live streams and like raid live streams. Because while we're sitting around, you know, just messing around with these global events and things like that, we might as well try to help each other get some exotics. You know what I mean? So uh, I'm going to try to focus on that for this last half of the season. That way, we're building up to the next season. We're waiting for those, you know, Kelso manhunts. Are they really manhunts, though? I mean... I know I'm going on a rant here, but those manhunts suck. Is it just me? Like, we, we get, like, an audio log, but all we're doing are control points and bounties. There's absolutely no investigating. When, whenever I heard that we would be investigating parts of New York, I thought that we would, like, go to, like, cool, like, buildings or cool, like, secret entrances and like scan areas and actually like have a background to these stories but it seems like it's just control point bounty we'll add a you know a little audio com there and then that's it it just seems like lazy like there's we're not doing anything and this is even worse than last season because during last season's manhunt we were rescuing people that weren't even there we were doing all the manhunt missions and everyone we were rescuing weren't even in the mission. It was the weirdest thing. It's like, how are you saying this is content? When it's literally just audio bugs placed over copy and paste content. It's the same shit. And we're playing the same thing over and over for like a little audio snippet. And it's like, come on, man. You can't even have us like scan an alleyway or like have some sort of like cool visuals for us to actually feel like we're doing something. You can't have an NPC sit there and have us cut the rope on their hands to signify that we rescued them. Like, there's not even a person there to rescue. It just says, rescued, go to the castle. And it's like, what? Who'd I rescue? Where? How did I rescue them? Why would I go to the castle? It, it just seems like these manhunts are super, super, super lazy. And that's why the whole season 2.0 is getting spun up because I think the community is catching on that these manhunts have less and less content. Like, what are the manhunt takeovers but the exact same mission 
that we've already done a hundred times, but with an added audio file. It just doesn't make sense. And that's why the one thing they did cool this season with the Kelso Manhunt is that they are incorporating the Warlords of New York side missions into the Manhunt, which I thought was a good change. It's a good change of pace. It's refreshing. It helps people, you know, not feel like they're doing the same thing for the umpteenth time over and over. So that's cool. But for real, the Manhunts are super lazy. Now, my theory on this is that they were planning for the DLC to be at the end of this season. And now they have to extend the story another three full seasons to get us to the point where we're already at for the DLC. You see what I'm saying? So instead of it being, oh, the next chapter is the DLC. No, instead we have three more chapters we have to read of the same crap before we get to that DLC. You see what I'm... And that's where we're at here, where it just seems like they're just throwing things together, and they're like, all right, all right, here, here's a new season. And it's like, bro, just give us the DLC. It's a live service game. You're gonna have bugs. Just give it to us. Do the updates as we go. I mean, hell, that's what they did with Summit. That's what they did with Countdown. Why can't they do that with anything else? Unless... They're trying to get us to pay for the DLC. Now, if they're trying to get us to pay for the DLC, then I understand taking your time, getting it all fully polished, that way you can put a price tag behind it. But the way they're doing these manhunts and the rumors that the DLC would just be, you know, free, I don't know. I don't know. Because at first it was supposed to be a story DLC only, and it seemed like they were going for like the free update kind of deal, sort of uh, equivalent to West Side Pier in New York and uh, the Division One. But instead, it's moving more towards they're trying to give us like a bulky DLC, and it might have a price tag behind it. So we'll we'll talk about that in another video as well. But that was it. I'm just giving you an update on everything that I uh, I see and know. I I felt that. April Day, uh, April Fool's Day was uh, fitting for this video and thumbnail. And, well, I felt that we all needed a nice little update. Now, as far as my clans and discords and all that, I will make a... Hmm. Uh, the day before I do these live streams, I will make a tab in my Discord for a sign-up sheet. And it'll say whatever platform... It'll say either we're doing incursion or raid. And then when you sign up, you need to have your build ready. It's not sign up and then wait for, you know, everyone wait for you to get a build. Make sure you have your build together and then say you're ready with your build. What I say is just post build ready and then I'll pick you up. Pretty simple. So the plan will be I will announce on my community tab in the future, hey, we're going to do an incursion uh, live stream. Hey, we're going to do a raid live stream. And then I will open up a sign-up sheet in my Discord once I post that. That way you then go to Discord, sign up, and then we're good to go. Whether it be on Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, again, that will be announced whenever the time comes. So plan on that. Before, with the live streams, we were, like, pulling people from Xbox. We were pulling people from Discord, Twitch, YouTube. We, we just need to pull all the people from the same place. That way, people aren't getting skipped over. People aren't getting, you know, left out. And we can have a correct accountability for everyone that wants help. That way, we can help them. All right. That's it for me. I'm just rambling on. I hope everyone has a good Monday. It's going to be a good week. April's going to be a good month for us. It always has been for the division. So I hope you enjoy. Again, I apologize for the April Fool's little joke, but it's all fun and games. Um, you know, if you fell for it, I'm sorry for you. I'm Kamikaze Von Doom. I hope you have a great day. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you in the next one. All right? Peace out. And April Fool's. Motherfucker.